Thank you again, church, for it's a blessing to be here today. Um, like I said, I'm from Muskegon, I'm 43. Uh, before Teen Challenge, I've never been to church. Um, I've never even opened up a Bible and never read one word out of it. I always hoped that there was a guy, but I was unsure. Um, I started out in sin at a very young age. At the age of 10 years old, I started smoking marijuana, and that progressed into my teens where I started drinking alcohol. Um, up around the age of 16, I started doing powder cocaine, and I did it for years. Um, up in my 30s, I got introduced to crack cocaine, which is rock cocaine. Um, my life spiraled down very fast from that point on. Um, it's a very chaotic, dangerous lifestyle. I'd lost everything that I've acquired through working. Uh, my relationships were ruined with my family members. Um, I had eventually become a drug dealer myself. And I was not only ruining my life, I was ruining other people's lives too. And <clears throat> been in a lot of bad situations. I had got to the point where I'd owed, owed people a lot of money. People owed me and I was, I was so far out there and stressed out, I didn't know how to get out of it. But I always thought, you know, I'm a grown man, I can get myself out of this. You can't, you need God to take care of these things for you. But I didn't, at the time, I didn't know how to deal with it. I wasn't close with God, um, so I had a suicide attempt. I went out in my garage, and I thought, well, I'm just going to eliminate myself, and I was so depressed. And so I turned on my vehicle, and I enjoy, like, hunting and fishing, so I was seeing all these nice scenery of woods and fishing and stuff, and then all of a sudden the scenery changed to, uh, I seen myself laying in a casket with all my family members just weeping heavily around me. And that was the first time that I ever heard the Holy Spirit and the voice of God. And I heard him say, Jeffrey, don't do this to your family. Don't do this to yourself. And luckily, um, a friend of mine had just showed up, and he'd come in the garage, and he helped me get out of the vehicle and brought me to the hospital to where I had to stay there a couple days and got cleared up. And at that point, I knew that I really had to do something serious. So uh, my mother found out about Teen Challenge over the Internet. But I was being stubborn. She told me it was a year-long program, and I was like, I wasn't ready to submit for a whole year. But I knew if I didn't, I'd be dead very shortly. Um, so after a couple weeks, I went in there, and as soon as I walked through the doors, I see everybody singing and hugging each other and stuff. I'm like, what's going on? How can you people be so happy? And it's the Holy Spirit. And as soon as I walked in, it felt like there was a weight right off my shoulders. And our pastors that we have there are great. And all the brothers, are they show you so much love. And like I said, I just felt a great weight off my shoulders. And now I've been in, in there 10 and a half months. I know how to pray. I love God. And because of his grace and mercy, that's why I'm here today. So I want to give all the grace and glory to God. Thank you for hearing my testimony.